because an ex a party don't stop. It is the not QC at all, people, afternoon. Not at all. Welcome to it. It's channel 263 on your GSTV. It's K Town TV. My name is Lama. It is going to be a QC afternoon. To remember, you can call that number on your screen right now 021 Or follow us on Twitter right now. It's Twitter underscore live. We are also on Facebook. It's Except on K Town TV. Welcome to it, everybody. Nice to me. Is Amy Mayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hi, and everyone. Please do not go anywhere. We are going to please stay tuned for trending news. And if you want laughter and fun, please do go, just stay right there, man. And uh, we have Yasin Bonds. Is he is an award-winning um, comedian? Yeah. Hey man, uh, speaking about that, some of the very interesting things that will be happening in the show. You better make sure you don't get touch the talk here. Like I said, man, my name is Sasa Bart. Everybody's boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Is my boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Yep. Your boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Today on the show, we've got an interior designer who has uh, um, an architect uh, um, background. She's a print design who is showing her collection, which is titled 27 Collections. Mm. This collection is titled after her age and it's very impressive it's imagine yeah. it's um, inspired by yeah. nature i cannot wait to sit with her and chat yes. about it it's gonna be it's cool. off you the hinges yes. it's so, it's so dope. i mean it's my word yeah and like i said we also have one of the coolest things on the show today mm. it's called design in dama yeah sitting, sitting down with us Talking about one of the biggest uh, festivals that they have, man. We're not only talking about fashion, we're talking about music, we're talking about poetry. If you're creative or you know a creative, you better make sure that they, you know, out here with us. Yeah, and that'll be at the Oscar Theatre uh, between tomorrow, which is 27th of uh, February until the 1st of And you're going, yeah, going down Thursday, correct? <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Actually, just everything because I haven't seen it before. <laughs> no? Yeah. <laughs> And um, tributes keep pouring in from the late um, Mamu Dorothy Masuka. Mm. Um, we like to say um, rest in peace to Umama, who was born in Zimbabwe and came to South Africa at the age of 12. She released her first record at the age of 16. Um, politicians like uh, Jacob Zuma and President Cyril Ramaphosa are reminiscing and talking about this fallen legend. So to her and her family and friends, we'd like to say Alutlanga. Rest in peace. Um, she was 83 years old, so it's a life mm. well lived. Mm. So may you carry on resting in peace. She passed on on Saturday due to um, e palpitations sure. that she received after being diagnosed with this stroke late last year. Shall so salute to her, guys? Mm. salute her. Shout out yeah, to the legend. Out. Our hashtag for the day is hashtag that's a great idea. Do you have any great idea? Mm. We'd love to hear about that. Or have you heard of great ideas? Let us know so that we share them with the people right here on channel. Can, can I say what's a great idea? What is a great like, idea? Hashtag XC, you know, and he's your vote. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's that's a great idea. It is the biggest, the baddest, <laughs> and the most even editing show in town. And right now, it's time for us to head on to some trending news. Welcome back to it. We are still out here. XL on Cape Town TV. Like I said, man, earlier on, we're going to be getting down right now into hooking you up with who's who, who's beefing with who, who's really crushing on who when it comes to your celebrities. And Amy, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's do Let's give it to them. You know? Okay, let's okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, anyways, um, some of the things that have been really happening in and around you. Um, uh, if you don't know, Oscars have been happening this past weekend, right? And uh, everybody's been talking about Lady Gaga coming through and Bradley Cooper, obviously, man, and if there's no awards without the red carpet, so everybody's been speaking about the red carpet. While the rest of the world is talking about, you know, uh, those two, we decided to, you know, just come out here, you know, talk about our own. Anna and daughter also came through now and said again, okay, look, um, it's been always my dream to be on the Oscars, you know, just grace uh, the red carpet or just, you know, make a debut. Right now, the girl has been uh, on the Oscars the previous weekend, you know, interviewing all the hottest A-listers. You know, I'm speaking about celebrities. I'm speaking about everybody that's currently making it on the Oscars right now, you know, actors and everybody. Um, so the girl has always wanted to have this dream, you know, popping and becoming a reality. So finally, like I said, like I tell you right now, if you dream, it will come true, definitely. 
Thank you. And we all know about the taxi industry that has so much violence and intense situations. We also know that they are really unreliable. I mean, trust me, I'm one of them. I know that too well. And they also have, you know, this reputation for being dangerous and and private transportation is leading to underpaid drivers and angry customers. So why isn't anything being done about this is my question exactly. So nobody is coming up with the, nothing is coming up in election and no one is speaking about it within the taxi industry. This is really a huge problem in South Africa and nobody is starting the conversation or reforming us or anything um, other than that. So. <laughs> and yes man, on the other side news, I'm not sure whether this is hilarious because everybody's been speaking about it on the social media and some of the people are like, ah, no, they no longer, you know, just um, having fun about it. First it was, you know, Pastor Bushiri who went to prison and all of that, you know, drama. Right now we're back to another pastor that has been making huge waves when it comes to our celebrities. Once some of the people have been coming out on the social media saying, these pastors must do whatever they're doing in South Africa back in their countries. And uh, in case you did not know, you didn't see the video, a man was risen or raised from death this past weekend. Sunday morning there was a church service or a funeral service that happened in the, in the graveyard and a man was rose like this, like that, like Jesus did and uh, a man just rose and uh, people have been speaking about it and <coughs> apparently there's been research also made and some companies, especially the three funeral companies that were part of that and they did not know it was going to be something like this. They went and sued the church um, of Pastor uh, Pastor Alf Lakua, and uh, people have still been, you know, shook. I'm shook myself that you know, in 2019, do we have like a Jesus, or you know, because I don't understand. One of the shookiest things that were happening in the video that I've, I've seen, you gotta go on social media and check out the video. The the guy that died died for three days and then was rose back to life. Cool. Same thing that happened to Jesus. And then the pastor was also raising people to, you know, back to life. So I'm not sure which one of them is actually Jesus. So, well, you can let us know on social media in case you think um, you know who, okay, you know more about the story. But one thing I'll tell you, Annie, mm -hmm. this guy, um, the one that, you know, Raised up on the mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> was actually this pastor's videographer yeah. in some okay. video that they shot while they were praying for people in the hospital. Yeah, so... Uh, I told you. Well, if you have any news or anything about that, please do not uh, hesitate to comment and give us your comments on what we, what we just spoke about now. That was our trending news for today. Please do not go anywhere. We will be right back after the break. Kaboom! Bang! Bang! Yes, I and I are only in the fire talks with LNG. That's a new voice and a new date. You know for a fact, it's that time of an hour. Of course, we have moved from half past six to eight o'clock. And this time of an hour, it's definitely happening on the 17th of September for where now you must know for a fact it's going to be taking place on 17th of September we are starting at 8 o'clock and definitely no doubt bringing to you musical videos and interviews definitely some people may say interviews me I say fire reasonings right it's going to be fire talks so definitely no doubt we'll be coming to your ghetto and taking that tour so invite us and how how do you invite us check the directions are there information on your screen and definitely no doubt we'll be there check this place lion po kaboom bang bang so we are all about keeping you guys inspired i'm so excited x say is a youth driven educational and entertainment show for the youth <laughs> It's channel 263 on your DSTV, the biggest platform for creatives, for people who do great things for the community, for people who do well, for people who are up and coming. Should you wish to be part of the show, you can email us at um, xair at capetowntv.org or simply give us a dial on 021-448-0448. Remember to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Ukuti, the biggest television show in the motherland is XR and we live each and every day, Monday through Friday, between 4 and 5. Should you miss any of our episodes, we are available on Cape Town TV between 7 and 8 in the morning. Or you can hop onto our YouTube.
YouTube channel, which is XA on Cape Town TV. Now, let me remind you, our hashtag for the day is that's a great idea. So people who have been tweeting along Okala, it's Chabu, yo, who says, why do women hate their stepkids? but they want their biological kids to be loved by their stepfathers. Mm. Hey, hashtag, that's a great idea. Um, Garabo says, the youth is absolutely vital to unlock the future potential to our economy. Um, and them focusing on budgets is a very important hashtag. That's a great idea. And B. Morio says, ensure teaching is amongst the most paying professions. They watch as the public start putting more value on education hashtag that's a great idea you can do so on social media it's excel on cape town tv on facebook if you want to be participating in our trending topic we are joined by mm -hmm. I, i'm not gonna start that over again I'm Yes, Design in Daba is more than fashion and the latest trend. The festival is a platform for creative minds locally and internationally to express themselves and break the mold. Being unique um, and creative is encouraged to the festival and praised at the festival. They also feature more than just fashion, including music, theater, um, dance performances with more surprises along the way. Design in Daba Festival is more than an event. It is an immense experience. So I encourage everybody to go there in their numbers. I remember I was there two years ago, and oh my, oh my, did I have a great time. I'm jealous of Amy because she's going yes. there this year. So if you want to be participants, let us know what you're looking forward to. It's Excel on Cape Town TV on Facebook. What are you looking forward to? I see a quick design in there. remember our hashtag for the day is hashtag that's a great idea. I'll be reading those tweets later on the show as well as Facebook. Joining us to tell us more about this year's design in Daba is Neo Maditla on the Yellow Couches. Welcome to the show, beautiful lady. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank Neo, you. Um, our hashtag is hashtag that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, what pops up in your mind and say hashtag that's a, um, a great idea? What's a great idea? I'm into design in Dubai this ah, week. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, I mean, you were saying earlier that you want to come, but I think this year we've tried a lot to make sure that anyone who wants to come to design in Dubai can. Mm. So every evening, starting tomorrow, entrance is free from 5 p.m. What? So if you come through at 5, you can mm. come see free movies. We are screening mm. Matuetwe for free. Yes. Um, in the evenings, we're screaming, um, because Kakuzo is speaking at Design and Daba, we're screening Rafiki from Kenya, mm -hmm. because we have Wanuri Kaku, um, mm -hmm. speaking. Um, we're screening a movie tomorrow called The Human Shelter. So there's like different kinds of movie for you to see. There's master classes also, mm -hmm. because again, you know, not a lot of young creatives in Cape Town have access to the experts, right? Mm -hmm. Telling yeah. them, like you can get someone one-on-one -on -one time with photographers, there's people talking about trends, there's people talking about different aspects of design. So like, if you go on our conference site, just sign up for the master classes, sign up for our movies, come see the emerging creatives. I was there earlier and the stands are looking really lovely and everything's gonna be outside. Yeah. It's like a village mm. for creatives. It's gonna be very beautiful. Speaking of access <laughs> um, to creatives, um, what would you say is the importance of an event like e Design in Daba? Um, well, I mean, Design in Daba has been around since 1995. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've had a long time to kind of build this brand. And Design in Daba is about more than just South African creatives. We're looking at the whole spectrum and the whole world. So, like, we had people that came here all the way from Japan. Mm. We have people coming all the way from Kenya, the US, the UK. Like every little corner of the world where there's a creative, we found mm. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna be, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're gonna be on stage, yeah. um, you know, because we believe in like people who are just using their creativity for a better world. So you'll mm. see filmmakers, you'll see like product designers, we have architects, mm. we have a guy who's like experimenting with sound, you know, we oh. have people who are looking at our clothing yeah. and just like, just all aspects of design, aspect of creativity you like it's like a mind spa like oh, a spa for creativity. 
Um, <laughs> so speak to me about yeah. all of these creative people that you found um, locally and internationally. Like, how do you actually find a speaker? Like, how do you pick? Okay, you're gonna be part of the. the, um, the, the of a the lot show. of stalking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, I mean, so it's a it, it, it's a lot of different things, right? So we, for example, know all the big industries within creativity is yeah. like where we sit in on chairs, right? So somebody had to design this chair. Yeah. So we have a lot of product designers. And mm. then, you know, if I look at your studio, yellow, blue, whatever, someone has to come speak about the trends. So yeah. we have like, um, the Ido could come and speak about the trends on Saturday. She has a seminar. And then you look at, you know, this carpet. So like Design Endeavor did a collaboration with IKEA. Mm -hmm. And so now we're launching this range where we got designers from five African countries to collaborate with IKEA's in-house team mm -hmm. on a product range of, if you had to look at Africa and you had to think about furniture coming from Africa, not that stuff that you know tourists take home <laughs> <laughs> and put in the corner. It's the real stuff. And put in the corner, yeah, like the stuff that you would yes. want in your house. Yeah. You know, so like they're really real. cool, yeah. they're really so we have like, like Duma has done like some oh, carpets, yeah. Cindy Sakumala has done, so like just come and mm -hmm. see very like cool. nice, modern, contemporary stuff that you want in your house because with us we're always looking at the way we you know because design and has been around for 24 years like yeah. what has that experience done for us to be able to like unlock a few opportunities yeah. for young designers. With that being said that you guys have been around for 24 years what makes you keep on coming back each yeah. year? What's the motivation? Well um, I think design still has a very important role to play um, uh -huh. and I think we're seeing it more and more like businesses are waking up to the fact that you know designers are about more than just making pretty clothes right it's a mm. way of thinking it's a way of looking at the world and there's a lot of problems in the world that actually can be solved using design mm -hmm. so um you know one of our designers who's speaking this year um he's looking at fashion mm -hmm. and like fashion waste like how do we stop wasting that many um that much fabric and that many clothes so, like he is then using algorithms and data and figuring out how from the stage of where the designer collaborates with someone yeah. like him yeah. who's like a designer but like a very like architect almost yeah. kind of sense and then like how do we create less waste around our, our, our clothes you know there's yeah. people who are looking at the future of food like what are we going to be eating in 50 years from now? Mm. that's a design question mm. so you can taste some of the futures like food at design and double yeah yeah. Ooh, yeah so it's going to be amazing you know so <laughs> like you know the like the, i feel like everything is designed mm. and so you know the reason it's been around for 24 years is because it's evolving and people's mm. understanding of that's what design is is always evolving as well so i think it's always going to so be cool. there that's so cool yeah. right? that's like really cool <laughs> Yeah. And it's a place to come and meet cool people. Yeah. 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 So I imagine um, designing Dara. She's 24. She's feisty. She mm -hmm. knows what she's looking for. Um, she's got a mind of her own. So um, in terms of the years that she's been growing up, um, how has she grown from the inception? And who is she right now today? I mean, I like that you're saying that's a she. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so again, so I mean, you know, it's like Design and Double has grown into more than just the conference. Mm. So yes, the conference happens over three days. And I think this year we have like 53 speakers. Wow. So mm. it's like, it's going to be mind blowing. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> um, so, you know, the conference has grown and obviously like the scope, mm -hmm. right, of what design can do has grown also in that time. But also like the kind of platforms that we do have grown. So like we have for people that can afford to come to the conference, obviously you can experience everything live. But mm. for those who can't, everything is gonna be on our website. So like the website becomes another platform, yeah. right? That happens throughout yeah. the year. And then we have, you know, other collaborations that we do throughout the year with other people mm. from whether it's South Africa mm. or in different parts of Africa and over the world. So like mm. it's grown into more than just just, uh, I'm speaking of e-website now um, because e-technology is e-entity that is valuable and important in this day and age. Let's say I cannot go and showcase the design endeavor. Am I able to be online and submit my things and you guys showcase my creativity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, does that work? Um, our Instagram page. Mm. So like if you have work and it's very beautiful, just send it to editorial at yeah. designendaba.com. I mean, we decide, you know, some uh -huh. things are maybe like 
we can do a whole story on yeah. you and your work and your project. Sometimes like the visuals are so striking, so we'll just feature it on our Instagram page, sometimes yeah. Twitter. So like we just because we're multi platform, we decide what's the best way to showcase yeah. your work. Thank yeah. you so much yeah. for coming through. It was <laughs> Thank you so much. much. <laughs> it was nice speaking to you. <laughs> yeah, from our creatives to other creatives, it's time for us to go to the dice. If you remember them very well, they were here two weeks ago. Snalo went to Kualanga Ibukas Tebe to chat about this very business minded organization. And this is what had happened. Enjoy. As we join the British Council launching a new program called Dice, as they talk all things social entrepreneurship. I'm very excited to be here. Let's go inside and check it out. It's the beginning of a three month journey with the creative social entrepreneurs who will be participating in this accelerated program. And I'm hoping it's the beginning of a lifelong journey for you as you become a change maker within the social entrepreneurship space here in Cape Town. Another great example, right here in Cape Town in Kailicha, the 18 Gangster Museum, some of you may know it. Um, it's a museum that, that uses photography to show different life paths and different life choices that can be made. So you take a life choice that leads you either towards gangsterism and crime, or a life choice that takes you towards a life that's free of that, and towards employment, etc. So we're launching a program called Impact Makers and Creatives, and it's a program for creative social entrepreneurs. So basically that means it, it's people who are, who are um, in the arts industry, so they may be photographers or maybe they're artists or musicians or in media or fashion, but they're also using business, right? They're in business and they're solving a social or environmental problem. So it, it's, a, it's a creative social entrepreneur and I'll give you an example of such a, such a thing. So in, in Kailicha, for example, there's an amazing creative social enterprise called 18 Gangster Museum. And they use this incredible photography, incredible images to show life choices that people can make. So if you want to take the choice of going down the, way, the route towards gangsterism and crime, or going down another route which would lead towards potential employment and, and dignity and, and uh, a good life, etc. And they're using photography as, as a key part of that. So this program is about supporting social enterprises like that, either to start or to scale and grow. The people in this room are the creative and social entrepreneurs. They have their networks and we are here to just provide them the space and the time and the reflection uh, to, to think about what they think about every day. The time when we get program like this that um, development growth um, sustainability um, will take place especially in South Africa because uh, we have a, a lot of challenges amongst our communities so social entrepreneurship and social enterprises once they bloom and show up we embrace we want to see what's gonna take place because we have been ready for such developments the foundation last year in July and I've made a lot of strides already but I do I'm at a stage where I'm, I'm looking for for new ways for new ways of developing it because I, I think I've done the first layer of it and so I'm, I'm kind of looking for, for for new collaborations to work with new people and to make an impact within my work basically so we focus a lot on leadership because we really recognize that strong resilient leadership is, is really critical to any business you know succeeding so we focus a lot on, on that we focus on things like business skills so entrepreneurship how to take risk how to write business plans marketing all those things and then we also focus on things like social impact so how do you know that you're actually making a difference in your community and how do you measure such a thing so dice as a global program is in five countries and the uk so we're in brazil egypt indonesia pakistan and south africa okay. uh, the reason we chose them is because although they have challenges that are in many ways the same around youth unemployment having a youth bulge gender inequality uh, issues for people with disabilities as in every other country in the world 
They also have these wonderful signs of hope around social enterprise and the growth of social businesses and creativity and the arts. It's very important to us because uh, like, we always like look for in our exchange so that we can get our name out there and also like e exposure. Sometimes you just talk, you talk about like a cat in the box. I mean, if you get someone OT like try Nanda's food, uh, kitchen food, but because of like you don't see Nanda's kitchen anywhere. Besides, like when you search on Google, then you see on Google Maps that there is Nanda's kitchen. But now, if you look at the address and you see it, 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 it then it's based be residential area, also like in a block of flats. So you will definitely doubt. So we basically support the work of social entrepreneurs, so that people who are running businesses that are solving a social or environmental problem, and we support them through learning and development programs. Yeah. If you want to know more, if you want to join the academy, you can go to British Council website. There's information there. For myself, Nala Jane, the rest of the team, until next time, take care and God bless. You know what's a great idea is to put your makeup artist in a bag. Mm. I think that's a great <laughs> idea before you go shoot anything. Speaking of great ideas, our hashtag for the day is hashtag. That's a great idea. You can hop onto Twitter as well as on Facebook. It's success underscore live on Twitter. It's success on Cape Town TV. On Facebook, our tweet says, oh, before anything else, welcome back to one of our favorite camera people, Brade. Hey. I'm sure you look good in those four corners. Hey. Um, this one comes from Umon Wabisu, who says, that's a great idea. Plant a seed of happiness, hope, success, and love. It will all come back to you in abundance. This is the law of nature. Another um, tweet comes from Sharon Nee, who says, let's harness creativity and indulge the idea that education doesn't have to be about testing, but about application of usable skills. Hashtag, that's a great idea. Um, Fortune says, having one in Income is not an ideal these days. Let's try to save money to invest in property or business. Hashtag that's a mm, great mm, idea. Mm. Excel is designed to redefine education and entertainment. By tuning to us right here, right now, you've made a right choice. Um, joining us in studio is Primrose Chimanda. Well, let me tell you a little bit about her. She's a print designer with a background of e architecture and interior design. Her company, Primrose Charms, is self-made and looks creating aesthetically pleasing prints. Um, her latest collection is titled 27 Collections. Let me tell you what inspired that. Her age. Well, in 2018, um, Primrose was chosen as a finalist in Nanda's Hot Young Designers. She's a graduate from Vitz in 2014, where she obtained an undergraduate degree in architecture studies. Welcome to the show, my lady. Yeah. 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 Stunning. Yeah. Do you do well, design that is. look? <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with all. Ah, yeah. Yes, welcome to the show. So where did you learn about the industry of design? It says here, um, VITS, but I assume that you do not just wake up and say, let me enroll in design and stuff. So when did the passion begin for you? Well, um, Microphone. Hi. Well, since I was a kid, I have been doing art and drawing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just been something that's happened my whole life. When I decided to choose what to study for um, for my university degree. I wanted a career where I could create, um, I could unite my creativity yes. with something where I could also get to think, you know, uh, I also like being quite practical. Mm -hmm. And architecture was a very nice combination of the two. Um, so I did architecture. Yeah. And um, so with the Nandos thing that happened the last <laughs> years, uh, the pumpkin design competition, yeah. that was something that I just did as, um, mm -hmm. that I did as just for fun. And uh, as I made it to the finals, <laughs> as I made it to the finals, um, I then decided, I realized that that was just another talent that I had. Okay, cool. 
Um, while we're busy fixing her microphone, let's quickly get on to some hashtags. Um, this one comes from Karabo Murule, who says, the youth is absolutely vital to unlock the future potential to our country's economy, and then focusing on budget is a very important hashtag. That's a good idea. And Moyo says, um, why do women hate their stepkids but want their biological kids to be loved by their stepfathers? Hashtag, that's a great idea. Hopefully, um, Upim Rose is back. Um, let's test okay. that. Um, director, are we good? Sound? Yeah. Are we good? All good. One, two, one, two? One, two, one, two. Are we good? <laughs> That's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> so you were telling us about the hot young designers, Zaganandos. Yes. So mm. with the Nando's hot young designer, that was because um, in my spare time, I like to draw. Um, I always like to develop my skill set. and. Mm. Uh, the Nando's competition was something I did in my spare time away from work. Yes. And when I made it to the finals, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I've never done <laughs> pattern design before. And yeah. the first time I did, I make it to the finals of a competition. And that's when I decided to continue cultivating that. And that's actually how I started. I got the 27 collection. Yes, yeah, they say if you follow your passion and you do what you love, you'll never have to work a day in your life. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. I just want to know. Right, because earlier on, uh, we, we were talking to Design Inda, and Lama um, called the, the whole organization a she. So I was really tempted to call yours a he, but you know, <laughs> he's not in the name. Um, tell me, how did you get, you know, how, how was the whole starting of your own company? You know, how did that come about? Okay, so that actually happened uh, by grace. It's it's, I actually just started my business, uh -huh. um, and I'm actually using Design and Dabit to actually launch Primrose Charms. Uh -huh. uh, so Primrose obviously is my name. Charms is basically uh, the a nickname, touch. the nickname that my whole family uses because the surname oh. is Chimanda. Okay. And so um, at school, because this is a, this is a day when Pokemon was still around, <laughs> my brother would get called Charmander, which was the name of a Pokemon. Uh -huh. Yeah. And from Charmander, then came Charms. And so with that, all of us just took on chance as <laughs> our, um, you know, for social media and for, you know, anything mm -hmm. we wanted to just, um, yeah, so that's how chance came about. And uh, so with the business, I actually, after the Nando's competition, when mm -hmm. I created the 27 collection, my initial idea was to get um, a reputed surface designer in the industry mm -hmm. to basically uh, use the pro user designs and I was hoping to then maybe um, get commissions or uh -huh. any sales made from the from the designs that you know were successful and uh, with the collection my sister actually called me one day and she said Primrose don't you want to actually send the collection to the design and Daba? I know mm -hmm. that the emerging creators uh -huh. uh, would might be interested in what you have in what you in your collection and uh, so it was actually my sister who applied uh, for sure. me, <laughs> she said that you have to send this through. And when I sent it through, that's when I got um, the designer doll that told me they loved it and they wanted oh, no. uh, me to showcase it. Shout out to your but sister. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what does the, the designer doll actually mean to you, though? For me, it's a platform, uh, especially as I'm starting. It's a s for small businesses, the, mm -hmm. the greatest struggle that uh, small business owners have is exposure, mm -hmm. yeah. showcasing your product yeah. to the market. Okay. And so with the design and Daba, it's it's basically an opportunity to get some exposure, uh -huh. to network with, mm. with successful people in the industry, both uh, locally and internationally, and to also um, potentially uh, collaborate with some of the other mm. other designers. Especially that I like there. internationally. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, to see more of her work, you can hop on to Design in Daba by Avula Ngongso, and she's going to be showcasing latest work in 27 collections. Is that what you're going to be showcasing this year? Wonderful. Um, tell us your previews. Um, did you like the work? Um, does it fair enough? Let us know. <laughs> Don't be shy because that is hashtag a great idea. <laughs> Another great idea. When we come back on the flip side, you better be here because, hey, the Ashuba Yasim is going to be here making us laugh. You do not want to miss it. So we are all about keeping you guys inspired. Oh, I'm so excited.
XA is a youth-driven educational and entertainment show for the youth and by the youth. This is going to be on Lucky Monday. It's a platform for ordinary people to talk about the extraordinary things being done to reshape our communities and minds. <laughs> XA focuses around career training, career opportunities, sports, lifestyle, arts, and culture. I just love food. I just love food. Catch XA live on channel 263 DSTV from Mondays to Wednesdays at 4 to 5 p.m. only. <laughs> great shows lined up for you right here on Cape Town TV. Remember, at 5 o'clock, just past XA, there's going to be an open studio. Do not forget to tune in to that. For more of our programming, you can visit www.capetowntv.org because that is a great idea. <laughs> Hashtag, that's a great idea is what's popping on our social media feeds. Um, Bongingos says, Unbundle has come to enhance productivity, responsibility, and most importantly, accountability. Hashtag, that's a great idea. Lumi Nospro says, if your family doesn't know what to get you for your birthday, how do you expect them to know what you want for your funeral? Plan the funeral that you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, I don't know if that's a great idea. I do not want to think about the day I die and how they bury me now. Um, and then Charini says, let's harness creativity and indulge the idea that education doesn't have to be about testing, but about application of the usable skills. Hashtag, that's a great idea. Hop on to Facebook as well as on Twitter, XL underscore live, Twitter, XL on Cape Town TV, Facebook, 21 448 That's our telephone number, as well as our social media, YouTube fan page, it's Excel on Cape Town TV. Now, Yasin Barnes has twice been awarded mm. South African Comedy's highest accolades, the Savannah Comics Choice Award, um, Best Newcomer in 2015, and Intermediate Comic of the Year 2016. He also won Good Hope FM Laughter Master Competition in 2014. So, um, Yasin has worked with you productions as Nancy, like The Weekly Noise, um, group podcast with Iraita or Karen Yanis, and on Daily Rocks. So, if I do not laugh right now, right okay. here, in this <laughs> segment, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> Yasin, make us laugh, because hashtag, that's a great <laughs> idea. You guys, this is really, it's really intimidating to go make me laugh. <laughs> I do have a great idea, though. What is it? It's, it's when you make cheese into smaller pieces. When you create it? Yeah. <laughs> that's a great idea. With cheese balls. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got God. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is the thing we're working with today, guys. <laughs> All right, okay, cool. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How are you? Thanks for having me, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's so great to be here. You guys have such an amazing show. It's really cool and it's really dope. Yes, yes. 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 You know that child can, can walk into your mommy's house uh, and your mommy will give him a hiding like it's your own child. <laughs> That's I have a lot of friends like that though. I'm mean, here guys. <laughs> I don't know, there's so many awards or so many things that ah. you've won. What is that one that you know you got like, oh, did I, did I just win there? It wasn't actually an award. Like the awards are nice. But the awards are just that you you were recognized by your peers. Uh -huh. For me, it's the, it's the days I go into room, into uh, stages that mm -hmm. people don't know me and I don't know the people. Mm -hmm. okay. And you perform and you connect with them. Mm -hmm. And you go, the thing I think in my head, you also think it, <laughs> that, that's just the magic. We're just like, that was the, like the first time my father saw me perform. Yeah. And it's very cheesy. Okay. But because he was, my, my dad was like, no, this is just a hobby. It's mm. just a, mm. it's a joke. <laughs> right. And then I did it for the first time and he was like, okay, I see mm. you mm. got this mm. thing. And then that for me was a big moment. And then also performing, like I perform across the country in like small areas. Uh -huh. uh, I went to Clarence at the comedy festival last year, mm -hmm. and I w it was the first time they met a Muslim man. That's the point I had. I was like, "What?" <laughs> then they asked me, "So do you know the people of ISIS?" Then I was <laughs> like, "No, guys, that's other Muslims." You're not a terrorist, yeah, Muslim. <laughs> And then that was when I just realized, like, but they loved my, my set. And then mm -hmm. I was like, yo, this is what comedy can do. Uh, comedy can connect people. 
and also the first time I performed in Gooks, it was a big moment because oh, I was like, "Yo, will they like understand like uh, my like the humor the or like, energy, like uh, the language uh, also?" I <laughs> people in Gooks understand <laughs> English. Yo, no, no, it's not English. Yeah, I will <laughs> tell you that. No, no, no. I know they understand the English, <laughs> but it's it's a thing of do they understand like. Come. <laughs> do, do you know okay, what I mean? Okay, maybe they wouldn't understand my you, you see, like, like ah, don't put that so loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. And then I went there, and then there was this great connection where we got each other. Mm. And then I also saw like, yo, our black people love laughing, and yeah. it just made my heart so. Because they they didn't just laugh; they got up and they walked out of the room. Yeah. And then they came back. Ah, 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 ah. But you assume the thing is when you always um the person who's not so serious and you're making people laugh, um they think that you're silly. Um here he comes is gonna tell silly stories. So um how did you ensure or what influenced the decision as Yasim to make comedy a success and turn it into a career? It is such a weird thing. So I started my career on Twitter, mm. right? We I just started, <laughs> yeah. I just started tweeting dumb stuff, dumb yeah. jokes, dumb jokes, and then it really picked up. People loved it, and then someone was like, "Yo, why don't you try this on yeah. stage?" Like then I was like, "Okay, I'll just do some things." Mm. So then I went to a stage here in Ops, a little shady place, mm. did the thing, and I loved that feeling of making people laugh. And then for a year, I did it as part time, mm. and then at one point, I had to. I, I got an opportunity to, I had to write my exams that week, and that was also the week I had to do Comedy Central, mm. and then I had to decide mm. of. Oh, that's oh. tough. Okay. And then I had to decide: do I want a qualification in insurance, or do I want to go on and do the thing I love? Yeah. And and I chose Comedy Central. The that's a joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, when there's no plan B, you have to do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, there isn't a plan B, so this has to work. Yeah. So <laughs> by all means, people support. Please. They're gonna support them, but then how do you come up with you can't think? Just loving you. Like this year, we, we oh, sit yeah, and we talk and we go, I see there's a joke uh, there, there's uh, a joke uh, there. And you start telling these little stories that happen. Uh, and you just, the thing of, we all have stories from our life. And mm. that's the things you tell on stage. So mm -hmm. that's the way I come up with my thing. You wanna okay. go for it? Yeah, I wanna go for it. Okay, Because <laughs> we're really laughing. Yeah. <laughs> you know when you're about to tell a good joke, but you're like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> insider. <laughs> yeah, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, I just wanna know, have you ever in your career so far, you know, been in a crowd where you're like, okay, this is one of the most awkward crowds? Uh, um, many times. <laughs> it's, part, it's part of the career where you just like, because you're constantly coming up with new ideas. Uh -huh. Right, so I go to the crowd and I go, so guys, um, I was walking into the shop and I tell the story, mm -hmm. and then silence. Well, silence. This, silence. The sound cricket. Is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I'm asking I'm like, because it's just cricket all the time. <laughs> and then the thing of it was just, and then you just go, okay, that joke doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Maybe I must reword it. Maybe uh -huh. I must say it differently. Mm -hmm. And you sort of telling the joke on night after night, six nights a week. We in these weird places telling jokes, and then you just learn to find uh, funny. And then there's a moment you just go, mm -hmm. got it, got that, it, got it. Speaking of spotlight. finding the line, you know, um, most comedians, um, they do not know where to tell the line. Um, and they <laughs> find themselves a topic of discussion because they're controversial. So do you also find yourself in a hot soup or do you draw the line and when do you choose to and when do you not choose to draw the line? So, so I have barriers, right? So I, I, I work between like my parents and my wife. Mm. If they say no to the joke, then it's no. Mm. I never ever want to do a joke that they are not comfortable with. Mm. But I also feel like it's my duty as a comedian to talk about the awkward topics, mm. to discuss these things, to like push the edge a little, make mm. people think. Because mm. the comedian is like, we're like teachers. Mm. We take information, we repurpose it, we stand in front of people and we deliver it so that they understand it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I go, I'm just a normal person. I think of this thing, do you guys think the thing? And then I can teach people. Yes. Yeah. But I need to be able to like, Yo guys, you must go with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a little, maybe it's a dirty joke, or maybe yeah. it's like a, it's an awkward moment. But we discuss these things, and we can teach them. So speaking about going with you everywhere, we can find you. So, mm -hmm. um, so I have a show coming up on the nineteenth oh, oh, of March oh. at the Baxter. It's part of the Mother City Comedy Festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a, um, it's a festival with its up and coming uh, comedians like myself. We're just trying to 
make platforms for ourselves as well. Mm. Okay. We, we know the yeah. big, the, we know the big boys in the country. Mm. Yes, but we're the next wave. Yeah, mm. yeah. we the like boys to men. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the 19th of March, you can guys can catch me at the Mother City Comedy Festival at the Baxter. All right, and people who want to follow you? Yeah. Um, they can follow me on the Path of Islam. Um, jokes, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And um, yeah, uh, my name is, oh yeah, I have a show on Thursday night in Musenberg as well. I forgot yeah. about that. Also. <laughs> And um, yeah, I also have on Friday night I have a show at, at Sebran Park. Mm. Um, it's also open mic because either someone gave me the opportunity, it's my duty to give other people oh, opportunity. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So if you guys know someone that's funny, tell them to come to me. Me? Yeah. Reza Forms. Forms. Please. 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 I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Yeah, 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 yeah. If yes. you're gonna throw some tickets at mine, <laughs> <way. laughs> I'll do so with a pleasure. The right session now. is there. <laughs> yeah, it's real. Um, something that we need to do now with pleasure is to pay a little tribute to Mom Dorothy Masugu. This one is done by Betty. Thank you so much, Yasem. Thanks um, for At me. times like this, we need to laugh. But <laughs> to pay tribute, this is what um, Betty did for Dorothy Masugu. There, Betty, but when he's paying tribute to the late, great, legendary um, Dorothy Masugu, who passed on this Saturday, um, her soul rest in eternal peace. Now, going back to great ideas on Twitter as well as on Facebook, we have, um, there we go, Mupilo, to buy property not to live in but to rent out and pay them off sooner than the 20 years. Um, hashtag, that's um, a great idea. Now, Familia says, play safe and don't have babies unprepared. Take care Ooh, of yourself. Ooh, that's hashtag, serious. that's a great <laughs> idea. Serious. And Oswald, I love this one. He says, when we as a public can choose our president and not the political party choose Ooh. a president for us, yeah. hashtag, yeah. yeah, and then um, which one is this? I can't find it. Maybe when we close the shows. Okay. Um, we you can give a great idea right yeah. now. That would be even awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. and then, uh, some of the things that are happening in the show. Thank you so much, first of all, for choosing us as a source of entertainment and entertainment, obviously, because we like to mix the two. We can't let you go uneducated out here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it is an Indaba King. You know, if you're a creative, you already know where to go um, uh, to make sure that you showcase your work. And please do not forget to hashtag Exema Votis. I mean, Maya, please vote for me, people. Okay. I'd like to stay here. Yeah. I love these people. These are family now. Okay? Thank okay. you so much for watching. I found it. I found it. Yes. We can't have people who are over 60 years of age making 30 years future plans for youth. Hashtag, oh. that's a oh. great idea. Oh. Oh. Hey. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow between 7 and 8. Stop <laughs> us to say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>